everybody, Omad Caroline here, and this lovely lady is my mama. Hello. Judy. <laughs> And um, we're going to just talk a little bit about my mama in her weight loss journey. So, yeah. mom, like if you could explain how your weight has been in your life. When, like when did you see weight gain and then what was your life like when, once that weight gain started? Okay. It's, it mostly happened between having kids. Believe it or not, for me it happened in between kids. I'd gain weight. Not when I was pregnant. It was in between, <laughs> which is unusual. And then I'd get pregnant and I had that extra weight and then I'd have the baby and then a little more weight in between. And then slowly it crept up and before I knew it I'm up to 229 pounds. I'm barely five foot. I said, that's it. You know, my legs start hurting, I didn't feel good, you know, I'm tired all the time. Yeah, so how many years do you feel like you were in that heavier weight bracket? Oh gosh. Well I'm seventy seven. So I would say at that heavy weight, over 200, I've probably been there 10 years. Okay. 10 years. Because I used to kind of keep it like 20, you know, and I always wanted it. I'd yo yo diet, get down to 160, then I'd crawl back. Then every time it crawled back, it went up a little higher, a little higher, until finally I got up to it. And, and that's funny because I'm yeah. planning on talk, doing a video about how our body set weight continues to rise up yeah. as our insulin resistance rises up. But that's a whole nother video. Right, right. But, anyways, um, as you guys know, I started this journey 15 weeks ago. Yeah. And whenever we have it's usually mom and three of my, my other sisters my other girls, are yeah, here but yeah. today i just asked mom to come to our favorite place we call it the cafe it's yeah. really family table in right, Pastoria, in Pastoria, Ohio. Yeah. but we are here today just her and i because i wanted to do this video but anyways when i came to the table about what was it probably about three months ago guys were noticing right. some changes oh yeah so i started sharing about the whole intermittent fasting and what is funny is my mom has had some success in yep. the past, what, year and a year half? Year and a half. So yep. when I start sharing the whole intermittent fasting, the thing is, is my mom had been pretty much doing intermittent fasting for a year, and she it's, didn't really know yeah, it. Didn't know so it. tell them what your what you changed to okay. lose what thirty pounds. And thirty some pounds, yeah. but in a year and a half. A, yeah. What I changed was we used to my husband and I used to eat three meals a day, so I knocked off one meal. I said we don't need anymore three meals. So what we did, we'd have brunch and then eat later in the afternoon. Not try not to eat after six o'clock and that's how we but I only was losing like it took me a year and a half to lose 39 pounds but it was coming off slow but I felt better you know so so uh, when Caroline talked to me about it and they bought me a, a wonderful treadmill. treadmill about four years ago which I've been hanging my clothes on so I said you know what and I have sugar but I'm on the pill I said, I want to get rid of this medication. I'm, I'm tired of it. I, I want to get healthy. So I said, I'm going to start doing that. You know, so not jumped on there like 30 minutes, but I said, I'm going to do 15 minutes and see how I do. Started doing that. Yeah. So uh, what I do is every other day I get on the treadmill 15 minutes, and it's right next to my bed. So I, that's the plan. I do the treadmill, then I fix my bed. So it works out great, and I feel better yeah. in my life. And, and the yeah. thing is, is mom kind of you guys, you have kind of like when she lost that 30 some pounds, she was actually what we call dirty fasting. Yeah. So she still put the sweetener yeah. and yeah. the creamer yeah. in her coffee, which is okay. Right. You know, yeah. it, it still yeah. it still proves that intermittent fasting yeah. is successful mm -hmm. to do it at your own pace. Right. But probably about two weeks ago, mom said, hey, I'm seeing a kind of a plateau in stall. Yeah. What do you suggest? Mm -hmm. You know, and I told mom, hey, clean up your fast. Oh, Mainly I, I told her, hey, get some walking in. Yeah. During your fasted state, and that's, and that's what I do. In. So, yep. what have you seen change since you jumped oh on gosh. the treadmill? I've been on this for two weeks, and remember, I was at a plateau, and I weighed myself this morning. I was so tickled. Lost four pounds, and not even an effort. Not even Friday, I yeah. went. I, I talked to Caroline, and I said, "Can I have pizza?" Because I I cut out, I know Process bread, cuts. pastas, and bread. I eat my meat and veggies and that. So I said, I'm going to try it. And Caroline said, oh, go for it, Mom, you can. So I did. 
still lost the four pounds. I am so tickled. You yeah, know? and, and so I that, feel good. Yeah, yeah. So now talking about feeling good yeah. is like you know I I read the obesity code and I'm realizing that the way our medical field cares for for diabetes yeah. is like is like pretty much wrong. It made me heavy hearted about how many family members that I right. have that are on the pill, um, pill or insulin. Yeah. And, you know, even my mother-in-law that I gave a kidney, the yeah. amount of insulin she yeah. is taking is just heart-wrenching. And I'm not a doctor or anything, but I realize that our medical fields are not treating um, diabetes properly. We're not fixing <laughs> right. the issues oh, within the, the body. Right. Instead, we're just giving medication that is actually forcing sugar into our organs. And, and we may not die of diabetes but we're dying of heart failure we're dying of like kidney disease right. fatty yeah. liver so yeah. that being said you know I had talked to mom about yeah. her you know she's been changing her lifestyle My diet. fasting yeah. her diet she's cutting out a lot of processed carbs exercise I asked her what her sugar's been looking like and it's been great so yeah. tell about your doctor's yeah so I went for my doctor appointment which is every six months and I said to her you know why can't I do just one pill and try that? She was great. She goes, your, she checked everything. My sugar was good. My heart rate was good. She said, go, go ahead. She said, we'll check you in six months. I said, well, in six months, if I'm doing even better and lost more weight, I want off of it. She said, I have no problem. So she was great about it because she really, she said, I can see the difference. You're exercising. And everything I'm doing is good for me, and I feel good. Yeah. So, yeah. so how old are you, Mom? I'm 77. Yeah. Yeah. And look at her. Yeah. She's a beauty. Yeah. I love her. We want her around forever. She's yeah. like my that's best what, friend. Yeah, that's what the girls said. <laughs> no, I said, they want me around forever. And I, I want to be around for my great-grandkids and my great-great-grandkids. Yeah. So how many, how many kids do you have, Mom? I have seven children, 22 great-grandchildren, and 36 great-grandchildren. Yep, so yeah. this family needs this woman around. Yeah. She is truly and the I, head of our family. No and I do. love them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share is my yeah. mama and her story yeah. and how like your intermittent <coughs> fasting can really Work. benefit the people around you and the people you love. So and then what's so funny... You don't feel the, deprived. I want oh. to tell you that that's one thing. You do not feel deprived. That's what I love about it. You know? yeah. And it's so funny because mom and I were just talking how like... When you come through, come from a life of dieting, yeah. there's this like guilt, guilt that is added to anything yeah. you eat. Mm -hmm. So like, mom is almost past that. Like with yeah. the pizza, she kind of called. She needed a little bit of validation, yeah. Yeah. but she didn't worry about it. No. After I was like, no, go for it. You yeah. can have whatever you yeah. want during your time. Yeah. So, but mom is kind of doing the warrior diet now. Right. So she yeah. she actually moved from like that two meals to more of a bigger snack yes. in, a, yes. in a dinner now. Yeah. Right? Now I go like between 16 to 18 hours and then I eat yeah and I eat but the one thing once you've been on it you really get full quickly yeah. and oh, one thing that everybody worries is the hunger pains I a little bit but hardly nothing I drink water because I don't eat after six o'clock at night no way and yeah. that really helps yeah yeah so it doesn't matter how old you are no right? no so no. no excuses yeah it doesn't matter if you're if you you know i'm not saying i'm a doctor but if you're diabetic it right. may even help, help you and benefit it does help you you. Yeah. you know mom goes and talks to her doctor yeah. Yeah. but check that you might be improving and you might be able to get off this medication right. that is pretty much yeah. killing us right you know? so yeah yeah, I yeah. just wanted to share my mama's story. So yeah. thank you for yeah. stopping in. Do you want to say anything to my YouTube no, no, subscribers? No, just uh, try it. And, and I'm telling you, it's not as bad as it sounds. I mean, <laughs> really. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye.